Hi, I'm Jason Gorman from Codemanship, and this week's Code Smell of the Week is Duplicate Code. We've got two methods here, credit and debit, and as you can see the code is almost identical, except here we add the amount to the balance and here we deduct the amount from the balance. Here we record a transaction with a positive amount, here we record the transaction with a negative amount, and those are the only differences. Uh, the impact of this kind of duplicate code is very obvious. Uh, say, for example, we wanted to make a change to the format of the last transaction date that's calculated here, um, we'd need to make that change in two places instead of one, so it would be twice as much work. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this block of code here and extract it into its own method. Let's call it execute and record transaction because that's pretty much what it does. Okay, and of course I run the tests make sure you've got tests to run before you do any refactoring and then let's take this private method here and move it out of the way I like to have my private helper methods below all the public methods nice and out of the way, there we go let's just run the tests because I'm paranoid lovely, everything's still working and now what we need to do is we need to call this method execute and record transaction but with a negative amount. So it adds a negative amount to the balance in the helper method and records the transaction with a negative amount, which is logically exactly the same as what we just saw there. OK, so the duplication is gone. And now we need to make a change, say, for example, to the, uh, the format of the last transaction date. We only need to change it in one place here.